welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Charles, and I'm glad you're here watching my video. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. I hope I, that I am helping you out to be prepared for any type of disaster or anything that may take place. Now, we're all starting to get a little bit of scared out there with what's going on in this world. The whole variants and all these different mutations of COVID is just... Well, folks, it's a little scary, isn't it? And we need to make sure that we're prepared for our, you know, you and your family. You got to make sure that you're ready and you have the things that you need. And that's why I'm doing this video today on the 12 things that you need to prepare for now. All right, so let's get going on this. And hopefully this helps some people out and get you started and why you need to make sure that you have some of these things. All right, first off, Mylar bags. You want to make sure that you go out by yourself. Mylar bags. Go on Amazon. Order the Mylar bags. You can get them with the oxygen absorbers. They're all included. You know, and this way here, you have some way to store a lot of these products that I'm talking about. And they're going to store for a very, very long time. So, first off, pasta. Pasta is something you want to get. You store it in your Mylar bags with oxygen absorbers. They're going to last you for 20, 30 years easy if you store them in a cool, dry place. That's the key, folks. Cool, dry place on all said products that we're going to be talking about. All right. This way here, you maximize the life of your products. All right. So pasta is a good thing to have because pasta, you can get spaghetti. You can get all different types and sizes of any type of pasta that you do like or your family likes. Sugar. Make sure that you do have sugar on hand. Sugar comes in handy when you're baking or if you're making dishes or for your coffee or anything like that. Make sure that you do have sugar. Powdered milk. Now, a lot of people just don't like powdered milk or anything else, but powdered milk, it will come in handy if you can't get milk at the store or if you do not want to go out and get the milk. A little key there is if you add just a little bit of that sugar to your powdered milk, it makes it a lot better. So get powdered milk. You can store those in Mylar bags and they're going to last you for a very long time. Beans. Now you can get beans, dried beans, canned beans, however you want to do it. Whatever way you know how to cook beans, make sure that you know how to use these beans and make and form them into a good meal, not just beans. Because this way here, it'll be more appetizing for other people in your family. And it'll make it a little easier for them to eat them. Rice. Rice is probably one of the number one things you want to make sure that you do have. Now remember, white rice, if you store it in a Mylar bag with oxygen absorbers, all right, that's going to last you for 25 years. No problems, hands down, probably longer if you store it correctly. Brown rice is not a rice you want to store long term. You're only going to get about six months out of brown rice because of the oils that are in the rice. So that is something for short term storage. So if you do like brown rice, just remember it's only good for about six months. Canned goods. Canned goods of any kind. Whatever it is you like to eat. Green beans, corn, carrots, peas, asparagus, whatever it is. Canned goods of any kind. Make sure you're getting your canned meats also in there. All right, so you got your canned chicken, your canned tuna. You've got, you can get canned salmon. You can get canned meats. You go online to Amazon. You can order the Keystones right on there. Sometimes they have a good price on them. You want to make sure that you have a nice variety between your vegetables, potatoes, and your meats all in your canned goods. Honey. Honey is a good one because honey, well, that we all know that that's going to last forever, folks. So make sure you got honey because it comes in handy for a lot of different things besides just eating it. You have to do a little bit of research on that. And maybe I might just do a video on honey and what it does and what you can do with it. Salt. Salt is very important. All right, because salt you can use in a lot of different dishes to make sure it's flavored. That's obvious. But you can also use that if you had to, if you had to cure meat or something like that, fish or anything of those natures, salt is very, very handy to have. Now, if you do do canning, you want to make sure you have kosher salt, canning salt, all those different kind of salts, but make sure that you have salt. All right. 
something you really want to think about doing is spending a little bit of money and looking into your freeze-dried foods. Freeze-dried foods will last for up to 30 years. Uh, you can get the Mountain House. There's there's so many different kinds that are out there. It's whatever you can afford to do. Uh, you can pick up Mountain House and stuff. They have a few other different ones right at Walmart. So, you know, they cost like $8.98. I've done several videos on the Mountain House and, and the prices at Walmart and everything. So it's something that you really want to look into because it's a good fallback on for an emergency situation. Now, something you really want to ponder is if you have a dehydrator, you can dehydrate a lot of things. You can dehydrate fruits, you can dehydrate vegetables, you can dehydrate a lot of things. You store them in canning jars or Mylar bags, and this way here you can maximize the life and you always have maybe some fresh vegetables or fruits that you can eat at any given time. Now, something else you want to make sure that you do have is cash. Now, if the whole thing goes really south, the cash probably isn't going to matter much. And, you know, but in having some cash on hand, just on the chance, you just don't know what's going to take place. We're playing, um, you know, guessing games here because every day everything changes. Everything is uh, mutating and all this other kind of stuff. So make sure that you do have some cash on hand and keep that stored in your house. Don't spend it and save it for a rainy day when you're going to need it. And for a bonus, I can't believe that I'm going to say this, but I'm sure everybody knows. Make sure you have toilet paper because that was the first thing that went bye-bye when we had the last lockdown downs so we don't know what's going to happen folks but this is just a quick video to help you be prepared all right we don't know what the future holds we don't have that crystal ball to so see what is in the future but we know something is going on because everything is going haywire right now between floods fires drought dams that are looking to be turned off, not generating power anymore, not supplying water. We haven't even had a major hurricane yet. Lord only knows what the future holds. The key is you need to be prepared and you need to make sure that you have the 12 things to keep your family alive, safe, and sound during any type of disaster and a disaster can be anything from a hurricane to another variant coming out or more lockdowns whatever may be coming i am survival preparedness for beginners i want to thank you today for joining me make sure that you're getting out there that you're doing your part to be ready to be ready folks i'm going to say that again to be ready for whatever comes down the pike, thrive to survive, keep prepping, and until next time, I'll catch all of you on the flip side. Mm -hmm.